Hey y'all, and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian, and Byron Donalds gets into a heated exchange with squad member Jamal Bowman and ends up not just on top, but eating his lunch outside of the Capitol steps. And before we jump in, this channel is sponsored by Colonial Metals Group. If you want to protect your wealth against Bidenflation, go over to my friends and the experts at Colonial Metals Group and protect your money today. But what I will say first for the gentleman from New York is, hold on, I want everybody to get this now. The gentleman to, the gentle, to the gentleman from New York, man, listen, it's cool I have two people in my state that could be president. I don't know about New York. I'm, that's all I'm going to say, though. That's Who all I'm going to say. Who could be president? Who? Oh, shoot. Come DeSantis? on, DeSantis? Come on, man. DeSantis doesn't have a man, shot. Man, 45, 45. He's a white 45, nationalist. Oh, stop that. He's a oh, nationalist. No, he's a not. white supremacist. No. He's anti-gay. No, he's, he's not. Anti no, he's anti-woman. He's no, anti-black. No, listen, There's no way he can be so president. my former colleagues in the legislature. Who's the other one? Who's the other one? Republican and Democrat, when all that stuff was coming up last year, I called them. I said, tell me what's happening. They are like, uh, it's really not that, but people are trying to raise a fuss. I've had the conversations. It's not true. Why are, why, I've had the conversations. Why, why, are the, why can't uh, those who have been incarcerated, who are released, who have done their time, why can't they be re-enfranchised and be allowed to vote? They are in our state. That's no, they're not, happening. man. They Jamal, pay all I voted, kinds of I voted for the bill. That. Jamal, anyway, I, vote, I voted election. for the bill, Jamal. I was there when well, they drafted it. who's the second it. guy? Who's the second guy? Second person. Second, oh, woman? come on now. You already know that's Trump and Ron. Trump and Ron? Trump and Ron. That's it's two Trump. different people, man. So Trump claims Florida now? He don't claim New York? You know he, let, he, been, wow. he been claimed Florida. Two years now. Been Bye, claimed. Felicia. Been claimed. That's what he said. Bye, Listen, Felicia. that's what he said. That's what he said to Kathy. Oh. He told Kathy Hochul that. He said, I got to go. Listen, both those dudes going to get crushed. Stop. By who? The man at 1600? Gretchen oh, please. Whitmore, if she wanted to jump in, she would kill both of them. Secondly, Biden will kill both of them. Biden passed three bipartisan like, pieces you know what that, of legislation. You know what that's like? You know what that's like? Biden, that's like saying Josh Allen is better than Patrick Mahomes. Biden, Come on now. Biden passed sell, that, three, sell that to somebody else. Biden passed three bipartisan pieces of legislation after an insurrection during a global oh pandemic, open back man. up to Come schools, on, are we killing talk, are the we game. Talking about the infrastructure hey, he's 87 years old. We're talking about the infrastructure on, bill. Man. That's what we're talking about. The Santis ain't even. The infrastructure the, bill is what we're talking about. Biden will wipe the floor with Come the Santis. In what world? Come on. Man. In what world? Bizarro Three Land? Chips Act. Stop. Infrastructure bill. Stop. Safer Communities Stop. Act. Historic investments Stop. in climate. Thirty-five dollar insulin. High Biden inflation. Over on southern all border. Fentanyl in everybody's streets. Look, I, we can do the same thing. We, I can do the same thing. What's he got? What's he got? Handsome black men. <laughs> handsome black men. We want to handsome black men. We try to get these handsome black men. Listen, oh listen we gotta bring black men together. That's right. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Y'all, this actually gives me a little bit of hope. And it's not because Jamal Bowman lost. No, no, no. This, is, uh, this is the moment that Andre Carson took both men aside, just gave him a big old bear hug, got him to laugh with each other. Remember, legislators actually have good working relationships with each other. And I'll use a personal anecdote. Uh, when I was working in the Georgia State House as an intern, I noticed that Ed Setzler, a, an arch Republican, and one of the Democrats, uh, I, I believe, uh, uh, she's built like a Mack truck. Uh, uh, Thomas, I think, uh, not Eileen the parent, uh, but there was a black legislator, I, I believe her name was Thomas, uh, got, they, they didn't get into a heated exchange. They went up at the lectern, gave their speeches, but she actually complimented Ed Setzler, who is one of my favorite legislators of all time, and said that he's technically wrong about this one thing, but that she loved him and respected him. And I can tell you from personal, uh, from personal anecdotes that yes, these people actually do work with each other. They actually like each other. That's a good thing. You should not hate the person that you're forced to work with. That's not a good working relationship. That creates a toxic culture. So the media probably won't show you something like this and won't praise Andre for bringing these two men aside and just saying, hey, y'all are brothers, y'all need to stop fighting. Y'all, times are rough. Record inflation is still not under control. We have a president who doesn't know what planet he's on. And the Federal Reserve continues to make dumb decision after dumb decision after dumb decision. You can gamble on Wall Street all you want, but if you want to diversify and protect your wealth, you need to look into my friends over at Colonial Metals Group. These amazing experts understand how to keep your wealth safe and protected from the volatility of our current market. And there's even a great deal for first-time accounts. Free gold and silver-backed IRA accounts, 
insurance on whatever precious metals you happen to buy for five years, up to $7,500 worth of silver, and a nice safe for you to keep all this good stuff in. So go take a look at their website, link in the description below, or call the phone number below so you can talk personally to Paul Stone, CEO, and his amazing team of experts to protect your wealth today. And that's exactly what's going on here. So good for Andre Carson, but you know what? I have to give some honest opinions here. Number one, Lord Byron Donalds is absolutely right, as he usually is. This is an, Byron Donalds is an American success story who has gone outside of the normal channels and figured out a way to better himself through the American system. This is a man who has gotten over his trauma, who understands how legislation is supposed to work, what good policy actually looks like, and more importantly, has a larger understanding of what's better for the black community than currently what the black community thinks of itself. There's a reason Donald Trump is surging in the polls because black voters are tired of illegal immigration, they're tired of fentanyl, they're tired of crime. They've realized that the Democrats at a local level have not given them a fair shake. Remember, Eric Adams, the current mayor of New York, he's not a Republican, but he had to run to the right in order to get elected. That's what a lot of these mayors have had to do. And compare that to Jamal Bowman, uh, who is fortunately being ousted from his seat, uh, who illegally pulled a fire alarm holding up Congress and should have, been, uh, should have faced charges for it, because that is quite literally an obstruction of Congress. <laughs> you need to face the consequences for that, Jamal. And furthermore, Jamal is out here spewing nonsense. Trump is not anti-woman. He's not anti-black. He's not anti-gay. Probably the most ardent supporters that I have met for Donald Trump are either gay, women, or black. That's the reality of the politics of today. And so ultimately, Jamar Bowman is out here just projecting the worst of the worst upon Donald Trump and hoping that his voters are dumb enough to believe it. They no longer believe his slop because he is out there masked off saying the most racist, atrocious things. That's why he lost his seat. He's still currently in Congress. He's a lame duck at this point. And personally, if you're a lame duck, I think you need to, uh, you know, fly away before the hunter comes. <laughs> or in my case, the uh, duck hunt, the dog is always laughing at me. So Jamal Bowman isn't just projecting lies and half-truths. Byron Donalds is telling the truth that inflation is worse under Biden. Black voters have gotten a worse deal under Biden. And that the policies that have been passed, the bipartisan stuff, the CHIPS Act, for instance, that was actually good legislation because China is going to invade Taiwan. That's where the majority of our microchips are produced. We are now sourcing them back to the United States because we know Taiwan is going to get invaded. We're going to give up a small defense and then we're going to leave them to their fate. That's just what's going to happen. I project that's going to happen in August or September. That's, that's what my gut says. But that's also typhoon season, so that's probably not the smartest thing to do in a La Nina event anyways. But that's me being uh, the closeted meteorologist that I am. But regardless of geopolitics, Byron Donalds is an American success story where Jamal Bowman is a constant failure. And that makes sense. Jamal Bowman comes from the school system. The education system in America is fundamentally broken. Fortunately, though, there is a little bit of hope. Because Byron Donalds is an American success story, Jamal Bowman is an American failure story. But there's one man that sort of cuts in between that. Uh, Andre Carson, who has been a competent legislator, still shows that there is still bipartisanship and hope for the system today. Even though there is a D next to his name, he shows that these people can actually work together, can actually come together. That's actually why I brought up the CHIPS Act. Legislators don't hate each other, for the most part. There's some bad blood between AOC, MTG, and, you know, Jasmine Crockett and, you know, everyone else. But these people, the actual rank and file members, know how to get along, know how to work together, and know how to work the media. So this is actually both a positive uh, view of politics, and I'm here for it, but it's also a reminder that Jamal Bowman got kicked because not only was he wrong, but he continually spewed nonsense. Furthermore, racist nonsense. Jamal Bowman deserves to be kicked to the curb. Andre Carson deserves his office. And Byron Donalds 
probably deserves a place in the hopefully upcoming Trump cabinet. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.